you ready for practice today? Yes, are you ready for practice today? Nope, because I didn't sign my progression plan. What's a progression plan? Miss Perez, what's a progression plan? Oh, good girls. Let me see, you've never done a progression plan? Every no. year we do it. So, let me show you what a progression plan is. It's very important that you fill it out because that's how teachers get funded, that's how CTE programs are done. So go ahead and, oh, I'm glad you have your Chromebook. Go ahead and open it up. So I can show you how to do it. It's really simple, only three steps, and you're done. So all you do is go into your focus. So go ahead and do that now. Once you're in your focus, and right, and notice how right here you have all these tabs. Okay, click on progression plan. So this is your progression plan. It's like a degree plan. It tells you what classes you've taken and what classes you still need to take in order to graduate. So we notice here, every, every four that indicates it, it means that you have to take it for four years. So science, four years. So notice here you've already taken biology, chemistry, and notice how it's broken into two. It doesn't mean that you repeated the class. It only means that it's semester one and semester two. So it's broken down into semesters. So if we continue going all the way down, you can see how all that is completed. Notice how you have an X there that is indicating that you haven't met that requirement. But it's only your 12th grade because of course you haven't been a 12th grader yet. So if you wanna, from 9th to 10th, you need six credits. From 10 to 11, you need 12 credits. And from 11 to 12, you need 18 credits. So here is just showing you everything that you've completed and what you're going to take. So next school year, you'll be taking another science, another math, social studies, and English. And the rest is gonna be filled in with electives. So at the end, what you do is you just come down, you initial, see how I've already signed, because I need to sign all of them. So you initial, or sign, but you have to use your mouse pad. You cannot use your finger because it's not going to take it. So if you can go ahead and sign. Sign. <laughs> oh, okay. Go okay. your cursor here and then sign. See, it is difficult. Like I said, it was difficult. Yeah. So you could either put your initials or you can sign it. Okay, once you're done with that step, then you scroll all the way to the top. And at the upper right hand corner, it says submit, you submit, and you are done. See how easy that was? If you do not submit, the counselors were still gonna be haunting you down until it's completed and it's submitted. Okay, any questions? Now you know how to do your progression plan? So when you meet your friends, let them know that how easy it is to complete the progression plan. If they have any questions, to come and talk to your counselor. Thank you girls, now you know what a progression plan is. This is how progression